Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Sarah Sachs Jepson, family nurse practitioner about breast cancer. Thanks for being here today, Sarah. Sure, Amy. I understand there's been some discussion lately on recommendations for breast cancer screening. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. There's actually two different schools of thought on this topic related to when and how often screening mammograms should be performed. It becomes very confusing for both women and providers. Just this past summer, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology released their most recent recommendations. They, along with the American College of Radiology and American Cancer Society, suggest that screening mammograms be offered every year on all women beginning at age 40. They also recommend that women be encouraged to practice self-breast awareness, which is a fancy way of saying, be familiar with your breasts. Women should know what their breasts normally look and feel like. This may include self-breast examination, but they don't specifically recommend how often this should be done. They also suggest that if any abnormality is noted, the woman should notify her provider immediately for further evaluation. Now here's where the controversy lies. In 2009, the United States Preventative Services Task Force released their recommendation on the topic which was actually adopted by the American Academy of Family Physicians. They recommend that screenings be individualized according to the women's risk of developing breast cancer. They recommend screening mammograms only be performed on women aged 50 to 74 years old, and those screenings only be done every two years. They only recommend mammograms for women ages 40 to 49 if they have a family history of breast cancer, have had genetic testing that indicates that they have a higher risk, or for any other reason why they would be predisposed to developing breast cancer. They also recommend against teaching and performing self-breast exams altogether, citing no evidence that decreased mortality. These recommendations are based on clinical reviews and evidence-based findings and are focused on decreasing unnecessary testing, emotional distress, and the cost involved in performing yearly exams if they're of no benefit, statistically speaking. This does seem confusing. What does it mean? Well, it's important to understand that both of these recommendations are for asymptomatic women who are at an average risk of developing breast cancer. More specific recommendations are given for women who fall into the high-risk category. Again, these recommendations are for screening mammograms only and not for diagnostic mammograms. If a woman of any age has found a lump in her breast, then most assuredly that lump needs to be evaluated. My recommendation would be to talk to your health care provider and discuss the risks and benefits associated with screenings and develop an individualized plan specific to you and your risk category. Thank you for being here today, Sarah. Sure. Please join us next Saturday morning for a new health topic discussion on house calls.